Welcome back legends to our 17th video on PHP and MySQL and in this video I wanted to create another tutorial video on arrays because arrays are such a big part of PHP. So in the last video we created two different arrays. We created a variable that consisted of an array of strings and we created a variable with an array that consisted of numbers. So in this video I want to go ahead and create a new array that consists of both numbers and, a st and strings. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new variable and we'll call this random because it's going to be super random and let's give it the parentheses and our semicolon to close it out now and I'm going to add numbers as well as strings in here. So I'm going to look around my room, phone, wallet, um, glasses, the number four, because the number four is an awesome number. And what else do I have around here? Headgear, because I'm 30 years old and I still wear headgear. Is headgear one letter or two? Or one word or two words? Whatever. Not too worried about how to spell headgear right now. Okay, so this is just to prove that we can echo. Let's pull out zero or uh, our first element right here. So. I'm going to create the braces and I'm going to give it its index number which is 0. I'm going to close it out and it should output the number 6. There it is. Perfect. And I'll go ahead and type 1 right now so it can output phone so you guys can see that we can output both numbers as well as text. So 6 just changed to phone. That's perfect. So what else do I want to do in this video? Oh, I want to show you guys you can create an array within an array. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this and I'll chop all this back till about up until wallet. And I'm going to go ahead and create in another array. And to create an array within an array, we have to go ahead and write array again and give it another set of parentheses. And I'm going to give it the closing parentheses right now because I'll probably forget at the end if I don't do that. And within this array, we'll have more numbers or strings. We can have 55, pencil, um, right, gorilla glue, I'll do glue, and uh, cards. I was playing cards last night. I'll give it another number to give the numbers some more love. We'll just do 34 from the great Walter Payton. I'm going to save this. Actually, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so I can keep this on the same line. Okay, hopefully you guys are following along. And again, numbers don't need quotations and strings do, but you guys know that by now because you guys are legends. Okay, so how do I source something from this array? Well, what we need to do is we need to call this array first. So this array index is 0, 1, 2, 3. So we're going to echo random 3, and we're going to close it out. We're going to save it. We reloaded it. Boom, it just said array because it doesn't know what in what element in that array that we're trying to source. We need to give it, we need to echo another, what do you call these things again? Braces? Brackets? I don't know. I think I need to make like a sticky note and put them on, put them on my computer because I have, I don't know, I think these are called braces. So create another set of braces. So now that this refers to our first array and this is going to refer to our second array. So say we want to source glue. So we know glue is our second index because 55 is 0, pencil is 1, glue is 2, cards is 3, and 34 is 4. So I want to source glue. So I'm going to type 2 right here because its value or its key is the second one, is number 2. So we're going to go ahead and save it and I'm going to open it up in the browser. Boom, there it is, perfect. Okay, so in this video we know how to create variables that include uh, we know how to create arrays that include both strings and numbers, and we also know how to create an array within an array. So let me know if you guys have any questions, and I'll be sure to get back to you, and uh, good luck, and I'll see you guys in the next video.